y'all. So this is real RV life. Let me show you. That's right. It's our toilet on the floor. And Matthew's going to explain why it's on the floor. Well, it had a wild night. I told it not to drink so much, but things happen. No, that's not it. <laughs> Everybody, it's travel day for us, and we are heading to Cave City, Kentucky. I mean, just the name sounds cool, <laughs> right? Yeah, and it's uh, by RV time, it's probably a good six and a half hour drive. Right, Google says a little over five. Um, we're gonna be there about a month, and it's close to Mammoth Cave. And we're hoping there's other hiking and stuff to do in the area, but we're really looking forward to visiting yep. the area. But like we said in our last video, we've got mini fridge now. And this is before we bring this slide and this slide's already in. So Matthew, explain what you did. Well, I ran out of bungee cords, so I ratchet strapped it <coughs> with the blanket on it just to keep the door closed. And then I put a bin and a pillow for my little conga line. So um, this isn't gonna bang around. We got a pillow here to protect the cabinets, but the backside has an opening. Can you see that? We tried to keep that for a free flow of air because that's important for it to not overheat. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's get the adventure going. Yay. I gotta walk a mile just to get in here. In the wind, no less. Here, hold that. Hello, America. How are you doing? I don't know how windy it is. It seems like ever since we hit Texas and now we're in Mississippi, the wind has been following us. It's just a really windy year. Is it just us or is it really actually more windy in 2022? Welcome to Tennessee. Yeah. I said coming in hot because it was like you only had like 50 feet to come to a, almost a dead stop. It's like, wow. So we're not using the facilities in our RV because we can't open the stairs here, but we're going to go use the restroom and eat lunch because there's a picnic table here. So yep. hopefully it won't be windy. I'm not impressed with Tennessee rest areas so far. No. Not yet. No. Welcome to Kentucky. Yay. Tennessee roads. Yay! <laughs> okay, y'all, we just arrived to what is it, Cave Country Campground? Cave Country Campground. In Cave City, Kentucky. And it's a pull through site, but we it took us a few minutes to figure out how to put the RV on this spot because we got this tree right here and we already tested the slide and it doesn't touch the slide, but they also don't want like stuff on the grass so i think and i'll show you this side too i wanted y'all to see this before we let the slides out but we'll show y'all what it looks like once the slides are out but this is what it looks like with the slides in and let me show you i backed him all the way up to the back because at first we're like well we could go forward and park the truck in the back see i backed him up to the back but Matthew didn't like that idea with the RV being all the way forward because then he would have uphill sewer and that's probably 
his uh what kryptonite arch nemesis arch nemesis he don't like uphill sewer so guess what now he has downhill sewer <laughs> All right, y'all, so here is our mini fridge. It is still in place, so Matthew's um, ratchet strapping, and he, he put some bins right here, did well. It didn't move. What do you think? I think it's an annoyance to have to deal with, but it worked. It didn't move even an inch, so it worked. So now we're going to let our slides out and hopefully put this back together to some normal, so I can't even talk. Normalcy. Yeah, what he said. Um, having to live with this mini fridge. So, anyways, and remember, you're going to have to do that again when we move again. That's why I'm taking a picture. All right, y'all, we are, where are we? We're in Cave City, Kentucky. And we're at a great month-long spot. And this spot doesn't usually take month-long people, but their sister RV park, which does, is out of spots. So we're in this place and we're in a month long stay. And if any of you have ever stayed month long, uh, you know that it's common for them to charge you separate for electricity. That's exactly what we have right now, separate charge. So we decided why not use our solar panels? Hey, they're not just for boondocking anymore. So we have turned off at the breaker. We are plugged in, but we turned the breaker off and right now we are still at 100% with our batteries. It's a cloudy day, but the solar panels are still pulling in a lot of electricity. We even have two refrigerators running. Don't you love that? All right, y'all, this is our campsite at Cave. City, Kentucky. I think it's called Cave Country Campground or Country Cave Campground. I will put the type the link out or not the link, the name. Anyways, let's start at the beginning. Lots of campsites here. Here's our campsite. It's plenty of room for the truck and we're 36 feet and the truck's 21 feet. And the other day when I showed y'all this, um, here's the slide with the tree. It's not touching our RV right now. So we maneuvered the RV on this site just right. The sites are gravel. And you get water. You get electric, 50 amp. And you get sewer. And the sites are just wide enough for your RV to fit on. And then you have some grass between you and your neighbors. And we parked all the way at the back again because of this tree. So we can let the slide out. But it's starting to bloom. It's a pretty tree. You get a picnic table and a fire ring. Y'all know it sucks when your gray tank is full and I don't know if you can tell but it's raining outside and yeah who wants to go out in the rain with your raincoat and have to pull the gray tank. Part of RV life y'all. It's starting to seep a little bit but yeah it needs to be pulled. Hey y'all. So you know we've been doing a lot of maintenance lately. We have the drawer that we need to rebuild. We have the refrigerator that's not working uh, we're living on a mini fridge and so now the bathroom didn't want to feel left out so guess what we have to do we have to change what is it the water valve on our Thetford toilet and the kit that we bought comes with a new seal so we're just gonna go ahead and change the seal because from what I understand those go out every once in a while too so here's the fun so what happened is what happened is this, right where you see the floor meet the commode, that is where we would see a tiny bit of water. 
And so we're going to have to take off the pedal here and take the toilet off the floor and do a whole bunch of hocus pocus. I'm not gonna show you every step, but just stick around and we'll see what happens. Um, in the Thetford toilets, you have to remove this foot pedal, you know, the foot pedal, in order to get to the water valve. I think we have a leaky water valve. So that went okay. Putting the new water valve in went really well. And then putting this stupid pedal back on, and I'm calling it stupid because it's not a very good design. When you go on the forums, you find out a lot of people have a problem with this. Of course, we have some friends who have a video who did it perfectly. I did not do it perfectly, and I broke a little plastic piece in there, and now this is just worthless. So what are we doing to fix the problem? So we are in Cave City, Kentucky, and Matthew wants to drive to Nashville. It's Friday, and no one around here sells. We're just going to go ahead and have to replace the whole toilet. So we want the Dometic 310, which a lot of people seem to upgrade to, mm -hmm. and there's none around here. But he found one in Nashville. That's an hour and a half drive because he didn't want to wait till <laughs> Monday to get it from Amazon. And we do have a bathhouse, but you could probably hear it's raining. It's 44 degrees. Who wants to always put on your rain jacket every two to three hours and go down to the bathhouse? And we don't have a shutoff valve to the toilet. So right now the water is completely shut off to the <laughs> RV. So we can't use any running water in the RV. So we're going to get that too on the way to get the toilet. F and it's a work day. FYI. Put a shutoff valve behind your toilet, probably under your sink, you know, both sinks and stuff. So when you have a problem, you can just shut the source off to that, but still have water for your other things. And if you have to do, I'm not afraid to tinker with the toilet and to try to install stuff, but I guess you need a little more patience than I had. I did it over and over and over again and finally kablooey. A little plastic piece broke and now the spring won't stay in place so we're getting a new one and we might as well upgrade so. Yeah and so we were going to cover all this because I thought the toilet would be fixed <laughs> but the RV this is not Instagram perfect y'all. No it's, it's not. Matthew has all of these projects and he is just stuffed squirreled stuff away everywhere because he had all these projects to do but then what no the toilet had to break listen y'all <laughs> i have a regular job to do we're not wealthy here and um our channel is growing but we need to pay the bills so i have a job to do and i have things for the business to do videos to make posts to do uh comments to have and then i have to do all of this glorious you know fix it stuff so yeah, um, and, and around here. Oh, yeah, because y'all know we're living out of a mini fridge, so that takes up space. And then this is on the floor because this is a certain pile. That's a certain pile. Oh, yeah. And, Be and then we had to replace the water regulator, and that's a whole other story. And that pile over there on the floor, you saw the, the um, TPMS. We used to have tools in here, but this broke. I haven't fixed it yet. That's one of my projects. But there's piles over there of stuff that's like extra parts and things that go in the bin that the tools are in and I can't do that until I install our tool solution which I haven't done yet either. So y'all it is one thing after another and I told him I cannot stand <laughs> stuff not being in their place. I like organization and it's everywhere. It is it's just driving me nuts. We'll get it done before <laughs> we leave Cave City. I hope so, but the, the mini fridge was just the, what is it, the um, the start of it because yeah. it takes up like a lot of space right here, right? And then you pile all this stuff on it, yeah. So anyways, y'all, we have to get to Nashville and um, we will vlog about it and see how well that goes for us to get this toilet because he didn't want to wait till Monday. No. Would y'all wait? Yeah, would y'all wait till Monday and go outside with it raining every day to the, <laughs> to the bathhouse? No. We're civilized people. We shouldn't have to do that. Come on. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I'll be on the way. Yeah. Man on a mission.
in the back for you. Are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Is it gonna fit? I don't care. I have my toilet. How are you gonna get it in there? Oh, look, it gets slid kind of like the, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want it to go in the back seat. all right y'all we just left camping world and we got our toilet have you ever been excited to get a toilet that's what i was gonna say who's <laughs> excited about getting the toilet they only had a couple left of the 310 dometic uh after we got ours um and we're really excited about it because i mean i know i broke the thetford one but everybody online was complaining about the same things we were complaining about with the foot pedal so the Dometic I think is built better you don't have to take the foot pedal off to access the water valve and it has a better flush pattern for better cleanliness inside the bowl um, lightweight um, should be an easy install but we got to go through what an hour and 38 minutes of rush hour traffic through Nashville to get back up to Kentucky and they said, you know, because there's a slowdown, and Google sent it as a different way, which is positive, right? As long as it's not some logging road somewhere, yeah, it would be yeah. fine. Uh -huh. In 1,000 feet. So, how many of y'all leave a comment below think that Matthew deliberately broke the foot pedal so he could get a new toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We're not made out of money, and it's certainly not in the budget. But if it's broken, it's broken. You might as well go with an upgrade. It's not like it's really more expensive. It's just better. And tell them how many minutes did you wait until you told me that you broke it? <laughs> I waited a few minutes to tell her because I was trying to figure out if I could fix it. I couldn't fix it. it a little plastic piece on it broke, and that's all she wrote. Yeah. Y'all probably can't see it, but... It's snowing right now. It's a mix of snow and rain. I have never driven in snow, y'all. Uh, look at that. I'm from Mississippi. I grew up in Mississippi, and I've never driven in snow. Where are these people going? Look. You see the snow? Big old flakes? Oh, my goodness. Snow! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fixing to get snow in my hair. Are you excited for the snow? Yes, and I got all these gadgets at the close, y'all. It is snowing April 8th. I'm going to have to do a reel on this. And guess where we're headed after we leave Kentucky? North. We're going further north. We're nuts. All right, y'all are fixing to see the toilet come down the, st the stairs. <laughs> Something that should have stayed in the bathroom is fixing to come down the stairs in a bag it's grand entrance there it is do i have to open the door or do you have it now you ask <laughs> do you want me to shut the door if you want to Y'all, this is a victory. It took all day, but we're about to fill a brand new sparkling clean Dometic 310 toilet for the first time, and we're excited. Will it work? Oh, I hope so. Let's see. So I press the pedal, right? Yeah, press it halfway. Ooh. What? Oh, so that's how it fills up. Look at that spiral action. You know, a couple episodes ago, we talked about how the drawer broke. We still haven't fixed it yet. Hopefully that will get done soon. But what we did do is take the first steps in dealing with all those tools you remember that were in the drawer. Let me show you. Yeah, I know, old habits die hard. We have a couple of things in there, but the drawer still broke back here. Haven't fixed it. But what we did do 
is, look at this. We got our solution for the tools in Amazon. This is a tool kit. Let me show you this. This is perfect for us because it will make it easy access. Look at this. Here is our tool caddy. It came highly rated on Amazon and it has all these pockets. You see, put screwdrivers, pliers, needle nose pliers, wrenches, wire strippers, anything you've got in the sides and then the big stuff in the middle and it's all very accessible. And if you want to carry it with you, here is a shoulder strap or here's the handle. I'm going to put all the tools and stuff in here and then we'll show you exactly where in the RV we're going to get we're going to keep them. Look, an unassuming pantry. You figured there's got to be food in the pantry, right? Yes, there's food in here. We got all these shelves. We need to add more shelves in there, by the way. That's another project. But in the very bottom, where it's not that easy to get to, we figure for daily food use, this isn't going to work. So in the back of here, I have some HVAC tape and masking tape stuff I'm not going to use very often. This is our cordless drill and cordless drill accessories. This is a tool caddy, which I'm really excited about. See, if I want something, I just pull it out, grab what I need, duct tape. Now I know what you're thinking. If you've been around with us for a while, you know that when the slides are in and it's travel day, I still have a lot of projects around here, so excuse the mess. When the slides are in and it's travel day, this and this are touching each other. Okay, we can get in half the fridge, we can't get in the second half of the fridge, the last half. So that's why the stuff that we really, really need on travel day, we have down below in the pass-through bay. And I have an extra set of pliers and an extra screwdriver and just the basics in the pass-through bay. So and we have some minor tools with the truck too. So we've got some duplicates, um, redundancies, just because of the nature of the beast. You know, the slides go in, it makes it less accessible. Yeah, I could put it in the bed of the truck. I don't want to do that because then a lot of the tools that I use in here, I got to go outside to get them. So you see, th your system may work different than our system, but this is works best for us. And now, Sean's not going to be happy with me until I get rid of all my projects and so now I got to take all of our extra parts put them in here take it outside and try to clear out some of this stuff what are you doing so we've seen frozen temperatures several times this year too many for my comfort zone and it was only supposed to get down to like 31 degrees we thought okay we'll just leave it well, we left it, and but I wrapped our water pressure regulator because we've had a problem with those freezing in the past, and that didn't freeze. It's fine. The problem was our splitter froze on the inside to where you couldn't even switch it on or off, and then the little hose on here, our water filter froze, and then water in here, the other end of it, water comes out this end, it froze. So now I'm using the good old hair dryer to try to fix it. And it got colder than it was supposed to. When we woke up, it was what, 28? Yeah. It was only supposed to get down to 31. And that's been the way it's been this year. They predict one temperature and it goes way below it. And I should have known. But what was strange was I use weather.com and it's 33, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming the park uses because the park likes to turn the water off if it gets below freezing. Mm -hmm. But what is it, Intel Cast? intel cast or something like that said it was 28 it must be correct because if it were 33 nothing would be frozen so even a heated hose wouldn't have saved because what no. got frozen was the water filter and yeah. our splitter so yeah. we're thinking maybe if we left a drip it would have been okay what do y'all think leave a comment below what would y'all i mean because we didn't think it was going to be freezing as much as we've dealt with this this year you'd think we would have gotten it right i've never seen this freeze ever and we've left this out almost all the time yeah we woke up this morning no water and we're like oh no but at least we had our tank heaters on <laughs> yeah you know we honestly love bringing all this content to you and if you want to help us out it's absolutely free 
All we're asking is that you like the video and subscribe to the channel and that'll tell YouTube that they should start showing our stuff to more people. We are finally on our way to do something fun in Cave City and we've been here two weeks today. We're going to Mammoth Cave National Park. Yep, but we're not going to do the cave tours today. We're going to do some hiking. They have a lot of good hiking and from what we understand, it's free just like the Smoky Mountains to get out on the grounds. So they got a lot of hike in there and we're gonna find a good one. So we're excited and we will see y'all this time, hopefully on the trail. It doesn't say the park is closed <laughs> this time. It shouldn't be. Hey y'all, we arrived at the parking lot and Matthew is downloading maps because my phone gets no signal. We're on the truck Wi-Fi. <laughs> It looks like it barely gets anything so we downloaded yeah. our all trails trail that we're gonna go on and you're downloading the map of the area yeah I downloaded the map with all trails and I'm redundancy you know is safety and redundancy I'm downloading it with Google too so if one fails we have the other because I don't like paper maps and I don't want to sit here and play with a paper map so I'm a child of the new age so I'm gonna use a phone so I guess you know we're learning as we go so from now on and i'm sure you already knew this national parks probably don't have cell service so download whatever maps and trails you want mm -hmm. ahead of time so you have it because i was even willing to just drive back out of here just so we could <laughs> download because we rely heavily on all trails because just trails we've been on at state parks sometimes we don't think they're marked very well or they have offshoots and you're like well which way do we go so and sometimes you want to explore different areas and get back to your trail and the easiest way to do that is to have like a gps trail tracker like all trails and by the way we've been rving for over a year now and this is our first national park number one mammoth cave kentucky hey <laughs> All right, y'all, our first trail in our first national park as full-time RVers. Mammoth Cave National Park. <laughs> Today we are just doing hiking, which is not just a hike. Hikes are awesome. You should go out and do one. Next Sunday, which is Easter, after church, we will be doing what? A cave tour, we're so excited. The one we wanted is sold out, but we got an, an alternative one. Yeah, still two hours, or is it one hour? Two hours and a quarter, I think. All right, y'all, I'm not trying to make you jealous, but here's a little 360 that's up a hill of where we are. That's the trail ahead, that's where we're going. And it is April, so the leaves, you can tell the leaves are just starting to bud. Maybe that means we missed pollen season or we're just on the very cusp of it. I don't know. There's, there's no missing pollen season. <laughs> Sean says you can't miss pollen season. It will come and doom you. <laughs> so this is, it's like... A little after 10 in the morning, it's April the 10th, and it's not very busy for a national park as far as the trails. No, it might be busy as all get out in the summertime, but yeah. we're on the probably the end of the shoulder season. Right. Could you imagine what it looks like in the fall? Oh, I know. This would be nice in the fall. Y'all, this is a river. Oh, you can really see it here. This is so pretty. I think Kentucky would be a pretty state to come to to check out the fall colors. You know, we tried to hit it in Branson. It didn't work out. But we're definitely going to try to hit a state with fall colors one year, right, Matthew? Yeah, this would be a good one, too. Y'all, this is amazing. Look, a little bridge, like something you find out of a fairy tale. I bet when it rains a lot, which it has rained a lot here, there's probably this flowing water that comes down this. That would be so cool. All right, y'all, it says an underground river emerges. 
And there it is, the river. This must be a natural entrance to Mammoth Cave. They said that they've explored over 400 miles of the cave and this must be part of it. So that little stream or river coming out of the mountain, I think is what they call the river Styx. And in the summertime, they have something called the River Styx Tour. We're here in April, and they don't offer it right now, but it sounded really nice. Look, y'all, isn't this neat? Like, we're above that cave entrance that we just showed y'all. Yeah, let me help you out. Right down here is where the river comes out of the cave. So, what's behind you? It's a deep, dark woods. And what do you naturally find in deep dark woods? Oh, it's a creepy little building. Let's go see what it is. <laughs> Let's see what's in the creepy little cabin. Look, it's cabin number 26. This is cabin number 26. I wonder back in the day if you could stay here. Oh. What is that? I don't know. We don't have a flashlight with us, do we? Darn. All right, y'all, we just got to see, I guess it's called the Green River Ferry. I'll have to check that out. It was a cool little car ferry, car and truck ferry. Definitely not big enough for motorhomes or anything. Or fifth wheels. Or fifth wheels. And now we're on the last mile, mile and a half. Y'all ready for my famous last words? What are your famous last words? I'm done. No, you're just not in shape yet. I need to get in shape, y'all. All right, let's see what this is. White's Cave. Huh. Basically, it says that if you enter this cave or damage it without a permit, enter it without a permit or damage it, you could be fined $20,000 and up to 20 years in the clink. This is the kind of cave, y'all, where you need knee pads. White's Cave. Hey, y'all, we just got done hiking Mammoth Cave and we're on our way out, uh, actually on our way to eat, and we just happened past this. Look at it. It's an old historic cemetery. Uh, Little Hope Cemetery. Yep, there's a sign, Little Hope. You see a bunch of little markers, you see big markers. We just like cemeteries. We like the kind of the legacy that's left behind on markers. The history. The history of it all. I'll show you the sign without getting run over. Little Hope Cemetery. A beautiful historic cemetery, Mammoth Cave. There's a truck.